really when we smell them. But the rest of the brain has this barrier around it that is semi-permeable, meaning like things that we have a process for the brain to allow certain things to get in and allow other things to stay out. This protects the brain. The problem is that there's a lot of things that can make the brain more permeable, meaning it, it's easier for things like mold toxins to get in. So if we have a very permeable, permeable brain, for example, and let's say we have mold spores living in our body, this is also very common. Those spores will make their own toxins and those toxins can get right through the blood brain barrier if that blood brain barrier is especially leaky. Now, things like small intestinal bacteria overgrowth, which is an overgrowth of bacteria in the small intestine, like 